Hi everyone, it's Kunihiro again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make salmon sushi and sashimi. So let's begin. So this is the salmon I prepared last time. I moved this salmon from freezer to fridge at 12 hours ago. Now it's completely defrosted. Okay, uh, looks great. No freeze burn. And please dry out the salmon with paper towel so it's not gonna slip on the cutting board. Next, I'm removing the skin. Uh, but before that, I have to show you one thing. Uh, can you see the line right in the middle, right here? Uh, this is the connecting tissue. Uh, this is a kind of a chewy and it doesn't taste good. So I'm not using this part today. Okay, so please place the blade of your knife right next to the line and cut straight down until you reach the skin. And make a curve and slide your knife along with the skin. That's it. This is the belly side. Let me skin off another side. Rotate salmon. Uh, place the blade next to the line and cut straight down. Once you reach the skin, make a curve here and slide your knife along with the skin. Hi. Uh, this is the back side. And I'm going to cook this part together with salmon skin later, so I'm not gonna throw this away. Now I'm trimming these gray parts. And uh, salmon is very breakable fish, so please make sure to use a very sharp knife. Today I'm gonna use belly side for sushi and back side for sashimi. Place salmon skin side up. I'm gonna start slicing from shorter side to the taller side. And as you go to the taller side, uh, please make sure to change the angle of your knife because our goal is to slice all the pieces into the same size. Okay, uh, here's the first slice. Uh, angle of my blade is kind of horizontal. And for the second slice, you have to stand up your knife a little bit more and slice. And please make sure second slice is almost the same as the first slice. And when you slice fish, you have to use your knife big. From heel of the blade to the tip of the blade, always slice with one motion. This time, please watch the angle of my knife. It's almost standing up straight when I reach the taller side. So most important thing is you keep on adjusting the angle of your knife and make sure to slice them into the same size. And one more thing I have to mention is that you always have to slice against the grain. But as long as you are doing exactly the same as what I'm showing you now, you are already slicing against the grain, so you don't have to worry. That's it! Sushi portion is done. And now I'm making sashimi with this backside. Place your salmon skin side up. Always begin with the short side, then move to taller side. I'm slicing a little bit thinner than sushi slices. 
and place all the slices nicely on the cutting board. And it will make it easier for you to decorate on a plate later on. As you can see, I'm slicing against the grain. And the angle of my knife is almost vertical now, since I don't want to make them too wide. Don't forget to use your knife big. From the heel to the tip of your knife. That's it. Now, plating. Today I'm using a seaweed and a shiso leaf for garnish. You can place half the salmon nicely on the plate like this. And I'm using lemon slices to add one more color to the plate. So let me put two slices of lemon. Place another half of salmon. And put two more slices of lemon. That's it, salmon sashimi is ready. And uh, when you decorate sashimi, uh, please make it look three-dimensional. This way, sashimi looks more beautiful. Let's start making sushi. Uh, let me show you the setup first. Uh, this is the sushi rice. Plain water. Wasabi. Uh, salmon and uh, you need a clean towel and uh, first let me show you how i make sushi so please watch i'm wetting my hands and making a small rice bowl same time grab a piece of salmon dry it out on the clean towel and take wasabi Put right in the middle of the salmon. Put the rice bowl, making an air hole. Close the air hole. Press it down a little bit. And flip. Press the side, rotate, press the side, rotate, press the side. That's it. First piece is done. This time I'm making more slowly. First, please wet only the tips of your right hand and spread on your palms. And please make a small rice ball while rolling the rice in your hand. And don't squeeze. Now grab a piece of salmon, dry it out on a clean towel otherwise rice won't stick to the fish. Place the salmon on your left hand fingers, should be always here. And put the wasabi right in the middle, and put the rice, and make an air hole with your thumb. And now I'm closing this hole with these fingers, like this. Next, press the rice to the salmon with your index finger. Then flip. Now put the index and the middle finger of your right hand on the sushi. And press the side of the middle finger with the four fingers of your left hand. So the two fingers of right hand are stopping four fingers of left hand from pressing the sushi too much. Now rotate and press. Rotate and press one more time. Always press the side of the middle finger. 
Okay, next piece. With your hands, make a rice ball. Don't squeeze the rice. Take a piece of salmon, dry it out, and place salmon on left hand fingers. Should be always here. Wasabi. Put the rice bowl, make an air hole, and close the hole. Press it down, and flip it, and press the side of middle finger, rotate, press the side, rotate, press the side. That's it. Wet your hands, make a rice bowl. Grab a piece of salmon, dry it out, and place salmon on left hand fingers. Wasabi, rice, air hole, close the hole, press it down, flip it, press the side, rotate, press the side, rotate, press the side. That's it. Put wasabi. Rice, air hole, close air hole, press it down, flip it, one, two, three. Nine pieces of salmon sushi is ready, and mission completed. I hope I explained well today. If you like today's video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.